lot of people ask why do we set up this uh, student summer school for vaccinology? Well, in fact, some benchmarking exercises more than five years ago within a EU project learned us that in many educational programs in, in European universities, European nurse schools, there was almost no place for any vaccinology course. Usually this is two or three hours in the course of pediatrics or two or three hours in the course of immunology and also very often spread over different years of training, bachelor and master. Whereas a few years ago at this university we had the opportunity to really organize a one-week module on vaccinology and infectious disease within the regular curriculum. And we thought this is a good idea if we can offer this kind of module in English for the European students. And that's where the idea came from. In general, they have good background in basic immunology and in physiology. These basic courses have been taught, but the more practical issues, they're different for everybody. There's, for example, people in residency of pediatrics and they have already a broad knowledge, but still they, they evaluate our course as valuable to fill gaps. From the beginning, we tried, of course, to advertise the course through colleagues at the different European universities, through websites. And uh, from the beginning up to now, we see a diversity of students. So, first of all, diversity of countries, 17 different countries this year, uh, but also diversity of students uh, over the years. So a second or third year bachelor in medicine, sometimes a fifth year ba uh, master, uh, but also pharmacy students, uh, biology students. Uh, some are trainees in, in pediatrics who want to know more about vaccinology. In fact, for a lot of them, it's really a first almost crash course in vaccinology in one week. And that's also what we really want to offer. It's not an advanced course, it's really some basic learnings about immunology and about uh, different vaccine preventable diseases and their vaccines. First of all, they like the social element. They like it to be in an international environment. We have 17 different nationalities this year among the 40 students that attend the course. So it's a mixture from Armenia to the UK to Scandinavian countries. It's, it's, it's very broad and they like that very much. So that's a social aspect. And content related, they like the, the broad um, the broad lectures. It's going from immunology to specific for each disease uh, what vaccine is on the market or is on their way. Or, so it's very disease specific and at the same time very broad in all aspects that are covered within vaccinology. The topics that we offer to the students, we start the first day, of course, with a very good layer, a good basic on immunology, because they need to, they need to understand a advanced immunology, updated immunology, to really know how modern vaccines work, whether these are toxoid vaccines or whether these are uh, conjugated vaccines. They need to know the, the difference and, and how it triggers the, the immunology. So that's really on the first day. Then we, we offer them several examples of the different kind of vaccines from inactivated, toxoid, uh, attenuated vaccines, conjugated vaccines uh, and also recombinant vaccines. So they receive several examples in detail on the disease and on the uh, aspects of the vaccine. And we end also with uh, two very specific parts which is one on how do we vaccinate, the real training course on uh, practical vaccination. For a lot of them it's, this is the first time they really offer a vaccine to someone. Uh, and the last day is on, on communication because we still believe that uh, as future healthcare workers they have a very important role to play in, in uh, communication, in, in advocacy. Uh, for immunization and that's why we want to offer them a lot of uh, basic tools on communication. We have a Facebook page on summer school on vaccinology. It's a general page and this is uh, accessible for everybody but every year we make a closed page for the people that attend that year the course. The more general page is less frequently used for personal communication it's more in general items on vaccinology that are posted there but the specific for pages for the alumni of that year they are used very intensively by all course participants um, they keep in touch for years and years they visit each other afterwards and they share information on vaccinology too through those Facebook pages it's really a community 
of alumni of the summer school, which makes us very happy. And actually, I don't have to do much active myself. They just run the page by their own, um, yeah, by their own community. Yeah. Well, after five years, of course, we start to reflect a little bit about what are we doing here. Uh, it's on top of all other activities, so we expect uh, maybe more support from our local university on the one hand, but also I think this is a course that will continue. There is a lot of interest. Uh, this year we had uh, 148 students that applied and we could all, only allow 40 students, so we have a, a large waiting list. So there is for sure a need to continue. I think once a year is, is feasible for us. Uh, what we were thinking about is maybe to have the course moving, also going to other uh, cities to other universities really to implement a course during the summer period uh, maybe in countries or universities where they have no module at all on, on vaccinology.